name. What do you want to do tonight? Same thing we do every night, Pinky. Try to take over the world. Here is a technique that I use all the time and I want you to use it as well and it works. Next time you have a negative image in your mind, I want you to freeze it as you would a movie. Then imagine taking a paintbrush filled with black paint and drawing a circle around the image. Then draw two X's right in the middle of the circle. Then visualize taking that image and throwing it out into the universe like a frisbee. Congratulations, you just deleted that image from your mind. And if you can recollect that image, I want you to repeat the process two more times. And I guarantee you, you won't be able to remember that scene. That's how powerful the mind is. That's how powerful your visualizations are. Use them to your benefit. See, the mind is connected to the physical world. And if you can clearly visualize something, it is already in existence. So when you take that image and you throw it out into the universe, in a sense, it is actually happening. That's how powerful your thoughts are. Because the mind is connected to the physical world. This is why we have to watch what we daydream. We have to monitor what we are daydreaming because our daydreams have a massive impact on reality. See, that image that you are producing in your mind's eye is soon to be produced in the physical world. If you visualize anything long enough, I guarantee you it'll happen. You'll see it. Because the mind, our consciousness, is building and molding and constructing the physical world. So if we change our daydreams from negative to positive, I guarantee you this simple act will cause more positive energy, more positive scenarios to happen in the outside world for you. This simple technique can change your life. We must monitor what we are thinking, monitor what we are daydreaming, because our thoughts create reality. This is not a game. This isn't fringe science. I guarantee you, within a couple of years, within at least 20 years, this will become common knowledge. Your thoughts, your mind, your consciousness, your vibration, your mood has a physical effect on this dimension. So it's time for you to stop imagining what can go wrong and to only train the mind of what can go right. What do you want to happen? Can you visualize it? Can you make it real in your imagination? Because if you can make it real in your imagination and feel as if it's happening already, you will bring it into physical reality. You will usher in that energy. Because what we feel deeply, what we think often, we bring into the physical world. Our thoughts create reality. So it's time to start daydreaming what can go right. Start daydreaming on what I want to happen. Visualize yourself in that house, driving that car, in a loving relationship, in a healthy body. Hold that image. Tell the universe, tell source, tell God, thank you. Thank you because I have it already. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And by saying thank you for it already, you are accepting that good. See, the key is to be grateful for and before the manifestation. So visualize what you want. Talk about what you want. Plant that seed in your mind's eye. Hold that image. Everything in reality was once a vision, 
and the things that we have in this world are nothing but held visions. In order to manifest what you want, in order to manifest that dream of yours, you must hold to the vision. You must hold to that image in your mind's eye. Act as if, feel as if you have it already. And for the negative images that you are dealing with, it is time for you to create that image of drawing a black circle around it and drawing two X's down the middle and throwing that image out into space. And by doing that, you would not remember that negative image. It's time to take control of your imagination, take control of your mind. What are you thinking about? What are you feeling? Because what you feel deeply and what you think about often becomes reality. This is the greatest secret of man. This is what they didn't teach us, but what they should have. That our mind, that our consciousness is creating reality. This is a beautiful, beautiful truth. And I want you to walk in it. This is Justin from You Are Creators. I love you. If you haven't already, download my free app, The Law of Attraction Library. It is available for Apple and Android devices. It is completely free, and I will be honored if you would check it out for me. I love you. This is Justin from You Are Creators, and we support your dreams.